Palazzo Volpi is one of the most pleasant civil buildings in Como. It is in Via Diaz and is the seat of the town's art gallery. It was built between 1621 and 1629, based on a project by architect Sergio Venturi, very active in Rome at the time. And in fact, the palace is a mixture of local and Roman architectural traditions. The former are evident in the ashlar worked portal, the latter in the size, the size higher than the town's average buildings. There is also a Roman arcade inside. The plan is U-shaped, but the northern wing is incomplete as construction was interrupted following the death of the commissioner, Bishop Volpiano Volpi. For this same reason, the facade has no decorations. The palace was the seat of the noble Volpi family for many years, and afterwards that of an another important city family, the Canarisi. In the 19th century, it was purchased by the government that turned it into a court of law. In the 1970s, the government ceded the building to the municipality of Como that restructured it and turned it into a museum. The art gallery was inaugurated in 1989 and offers a significant selection of local art from medieval times. The tour starts at the ground floor, on the left side of the entrance, with the first section dedicated to the medieval period. At the entrance is a nice Romanesque portal from the Church of Santa Margherita's Women Convent in Como, following the suppression of religious corporations decreed by Napoleon in the 19th century. This section also holds sculptures and frescoes from between the 6th and the 14th century. There is also an educational room dedicated to the various stoneworking techniques, an activity that was very common and widespread in the area at the time. In the opposite wing on the ground floor is the Renaissance section, divided in three rooms. The first displays works from the private collections. Among these is the Vergine Vocata, attributed to Giacomart Bacot. In the central room are some of the portraits from Paolo Giovio's collection, a famous Renaissance scholar from Como and an important art collector. And finally, in the third room are important works of the Renaissance period in Como. Among these is the significant fresco of the Virgin with Child between Saints Cosma and Damiano, dated about 1515. On the first floor is the picture gallery that holds works from the Counter-Reformation period to the 19th century. These are mainly paintings with religious subjects, coming from the area's religious buildings that were closed down by Napoleon. The most precious pieces are the Fall of the Rebel Angels by Morazzone, Saint Joseph with Baby Jesus by Paolo Pagani, the Portrait of Vespasiano Gonzaga of Uncertain Attribution, 
and the beautiful portrait of a noblewoman by Alessandro Magnasco. And finally, on the second floor is the section devoted to the 1900s, a period that was artistically very lively in the Como area. Como's futurism is represented by architect Antonio Santelia, of whom some drawings are preserved. The rationalism room is entirely devoted to architect Giuseppe Terragni, who lived and worked for many years in Como. And finally, two rooms are devoted to abstractionism, with important works by Mario Radice, Manlio Ro, Carla Badiali and Aldo Galli. <laughs>